Today's subject is fish farming. Fishery, this is the study of fish and other aquatic animals. Fish live in water bodies, for example, ponds, lakes, oceans, seas, rivers, respire with the gills and possess fins for swimming. They are cold-blooded animals because their body temperature changes with a change in the environment. Preservation of fish. This process involves keeping harvested fish long enough to ensure they maintain a very level of freshness before consumption. Preservation prevents spoilage, injury or destruction and this keeps the fish in edible condition for a long time. The following ways are Salting or curing Smoking Canning Processing of fish Processing fish involves transforming it into a preservable form by removing inedible parts like gut, scales, gills, bones, and fins. Byproducts such as fish meal, fish scales, cod liver oil, and fish skin are also derived from this process. Fish harvesting Harvesting is the collection of fish from a pond for consumption, preservation, or for sale. Methods of fish harvesting Fishing methods involves the use of different techniques or equipments used in harvesting fishes. Netting uses nets like gill nets or cast nets to catch fish by enclosing them in the mesh when pulled up from the water. Trapping involves setting traps along water courses using materials like bamboo or wire mesh to capture fish that swim into them. Hooks and lines uses baited hooks attached to lines to attract and catch fish directly along water courses. Ultrasonic devices emit sound underwater to attract fish, which can then be harvested using nets or other means. Electrofishing, uses an electric field in water to stun fish, facilitating their capture for total harvesting. Impaling, uses spears or harpoons to catch large fish such as sharks by piercing them. Pots and gourds, clay pots or gourds placed in ponds or shallow lakes to trap fish that swim inside. Basic Laws and Regulations of Fishery in Nigeria Fishery regulations are rules and laws governing the exploitation and other practices of fishery resources. The regulations include the following. Catch quota, limits the amount of fish a fisherman can catch, helping to manage fish stocks sustainably and prevent overfishing. Closed season, periods when fishing is prohibited to allow fish to spawn and grow, maintaining healthy fish populations. Mesh size regulation, ensures only mature fish are caught by using nets with specific mesh sizes, allowing younger fish to grow and reproduce. Population control, manages fish populations through methods like cannibalism among species or early harvesting to prevent overpopulation and maintain ecosystem balance. Regular stocking, introduces compatible fish species to replenish populations and support sustainable fishing practices. Prevention of vessels, limits fishing vessels, except canoes, within certain coastal areas to protect marine habitats and prevent overexploitation. Prohibition of explosives, bans the use of explosives which indiscriminately kill both young and mature fish, preserving marine biodiversity. Ban on poisonous chemicals, prohibits the use of toxic chemicals like gamelin-20 that can harm fish populations and contaminate water bodies. Landing tax, taxes fish catches based on quantity and size at the point of landing, generating revenue for fisheries management and conservation. Allocation of fishing areas, assign specific fishing zones to individual fishermen to prevent overcrowding and ensure sustainable use of fishing grounds. These regulations aim to conserve marine resources while supporting livelihoods dependent on fishing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.